Hello there, dear friends, and welcome once again to the Relax Fantasy Review. Today, we're going to be looking at a subclass of the Ranger, straight out of Xanathar's Guide to Everything, the Horizon Walker. The Horizon Walker is a ranger that watches the outer planes of existence. They basically are kind of like... Uh, they, they watch for extraplanar threats. They protect the world from outer-worldly magic. They are material plane guardians. So, naturally, they have some pretty cool abilities, but how do they stack up against the other rangers? Let's find out. First of all, when you choose this subclass at level 3, you get an expanded spell list. Uh, protection from evil and good, misty step, haste, banishment, and teleportation circle. This is good stuff. Like, this is this is a great uh, list. I give it an 8 out of 10 overall. It's, it's fantastic. Um, you also get a detect portal ability, where once per rest, you can magically detect the presence of a portal within a mile of you. I, I see this coming up maybe once in a whole campaign, if that. Detecting portals isn't something that you normally would need. Normally people know if there's a portal, but if there's a, some sort of sneak attack coming from... It, it makes you feel Horizon Walkery. I, I say 6 out of 10 mechanically. Not a whole lot to, to do there. It'll come up once. But you also get the Planar Warrior power. As a bonus action, you designate a creature within 30 feet of you. The next time you hit it with a weapon attack, that creature takes extra damage, 1d8, and all the damage of the attack becomes force damage. So if you're fighting a creature that's immune to your ma to your weapons and you don't have a magic weapon for some reason, this is a great way to get around that, because the force damage is one of the rarest ones to be resisted in the game. Um, the only issue I have with this is that you have to do this every turn. You have to use your bonus action every turn to do this, so it doesn't stack well with Hunter's Mark, which is a classic ranger spell that gives you extra damage on every attack. Um, not force damage, but I say that this is okay in situations you aren't using Hunter's Mark. It's actually really good if you don't want to be a ranger that takes Hunter's Mark. This is a great replacement, but Hunter's Mark works on every attack, not just one. And you only have to use your bonus action one time plus a spell slot. I say Planar Warrior gets 8 out of 10. It's not bad. It just doesn't work well with the classic ranger power. Then at level 7, you get the Ethereal Step power. As a bonus action, you cast the Etherealness spell, which allows you to move through walls, move in any direction you want. You step into the Ethereal plane, effectively. You don't even have to spend a spell slot to do this. The problem is it only lasts until the end of your turn. So you can do this to, like, step through a wall or sneak away from someone or avoid a massive hit that you know is about to come. There are some really, really good advantages to the etherealness spell. It's, it's an amazing 7th level spell, I'm pretty sure. But it only lasts for a turn, whereas the regular spell lasts, like, 8 hours. Don't get me wrong. For a 7th level feature, this is great. I give it 9 out of 10. It's just one of those things that'll save you once per day from a super attack or allow you to sneak past something. Um, yeah, it, it's good. Then, at 11th level, you get the Distant Strike power. When you take the attack action, which means that at this point you'll have extra attack, um, you can teleport 10 feet before each attack. So, this is a great way, if you're a melee fighter and not a ranged fighter, to pop between enemies, or to hit someone, and then before you attack again, teleport away from them. I suppose if you're using something like a dagger, you could, like, hit them, and then teleport away from them before you take your second attack, and then make a ranged attack. Uh, that way you don't provoke any opportunity attacks. And, if you attack at least two different creatures with this power, you can attack an additional one. So you can attack a third creature using the same attack action. So, extra attacks and teleportation when you attack. This is, this is good. I, I say that this is a handy power, and I give it another 9 out of 10. It's, teleportation's nice, and making extra attacks is also nice. Finally, at level 15, you get the Spectral Defense Power. This allows you 
uh, to use your reaction to give yourself resistance to an attack's damage. It only works on one attack, so basically what this is is uncanny dodge, which rogues get at like level five. You give yourself resistance to an attack's damage, as a, you know, which is having the damage. Um, uncanny dodge is nice. So spectral defense is basically the same power. It's a 9 out of 10 power. I will admit it comes on a little late, but I'm not going to complain about taking resistance, especially if you're about to take a massive AoE or any other attack. It says any damage from any attack. So any sort of damage that comes your way, you can have it from a single shot, which is really nice. If someone crits you or someone does a big AoE, you can avoid half the damage. And it's, there's no limit. You can do it every turn, just once per turn. So, I say 9 out of 10 for that as well. And overall, I say the Horizon Walker is an 8 out of 10 subclass. Got some powerful stuff in here. Um, it's hit or miss, depending on how powerful it is compared to other Ranger abilities. But I say overall, it's a pretty decent addition to the Ranger subclass list. I say, give it a shot. This has been the Relaxed Fantasy Review. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below, and keep your eyes peeled for more subclass reviews coming down the line soon. Have a good one, my friends.